they want to look for um, assistant coaches that not only help me as a coach be better, but help the student athletes uh, grow as women. look for when you're kind of building your staff in terms of developing this program off the field too? They want to look for um, assistant coaches that not only help me as a coach be better but help the student athletes uh, grow as women and mm -hmm. this time in college is so important and there's so much uh, going on off the field that they can um, learn and grow and they can be mentors and um, kind of help them navigate some things socially mm -hmm. and uh, my staff is uh, been awesome in supporting them in that. So you have to have this mindset of we're not trying to cookie cut anyone or make somebody be something, but we want to be you to be your best you. So actually when we're recruiting, it's more about competitive spirit. It's more about this positive energy of like helping the team. Mm -hmm. um, and from there, if you're able to have those dialogues, like they can really become who they are. I think being a Bruin specifically, whether you're an athlete or a student or a student athlete is just a culture of excellence and so I think coming into it a lot of times they're recruited knowing that it's going to be a, a very high demanding situation. You guys led the LA Women's March last January. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience and what that meant to you? Yeah, I mean that was pretty epic. I think it kind of goes back to starting and I'm sure you're going to talk to Kaya about this but about her kneeling for the national anthem and that started the dialogue within our team to really understand like what are we doing here? What is our platform? What do we stand for? And that could be an individual and then a collective we. So that led to the Women's March. I mean, they asked us to lead the Women's March, which I think had like a million people. So it was a pretty impactful event. And we got to literally from the front march all the way down to City Hall, yeah. lead it with the cheers. I took the megaphone and started leading with cheers. And we had people of all political backgrounds, all race backgrounds. We had people bring their family. So mm -hmm. it was the first march that some of them have ever done. So Kai, I think a lot of people who follow you on social media or the team on social media know that you're pretty into political activism, <laughs> which is great. Um, so how did you kind of like start doing that? Specifically with kneeling, a lot of times right now you see instances of especially people of color being brutalized and so for, for me that was kind of my trigger mm -hmm. and I've said this story a thousand times but I brought it to the team, I brought it to the coaches and I think we were all really able to rally around and internalize what that sort of racial commentary was making us feel. and. I think just having the the backing of my school and my family and my teammates and my coaches really inspired me to be like, okay, I can do this and I can I can express myself in a safe space. Definitely. So for you, Chloe, I know you won the Bruin Leadership Award last year and you've gone to multiple panels representing UCLA on these kind of social issues. Yeah, super fun. <laughs> can you talk a little bit about all those things that you do off the field and kind of what they mean to you? Yeah, absolutely. I became involved in a group called SAMS, I think my sophomore year, and so it's called Student Athlete Mentors. We're basically a liaison group between the Counseling and Psychological Services Center at UCLA, mm -hmm. and we go around and we have meetings like bi-monthly, and we just plan activities for the student athlete population mm -hmm. surrounding like well-being and mental health, just to like get the word out there and kind of destigmatize stuff surrounding yeah. mental health. Yeah. And I just meet with all these other like student athlete leaders, and it's really cool to swap like just ideas and stories about like what's happening in their student athletic communities and stuff so that's pretty cool thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for talking about this with me um make sure you follow them follow their activism on twitter and their instagrams um, and then also follow daily brew and video for more content like this